Bark grafting is used to top work a large tree. This would be used when you want to change the variety of a mature tree. Reasons for such grafting could be that a tree is a variety you do not want in the orchard, but somehow got mixed in when you planted. Or if there's a pollination problem, either you have too much pollen and you want to graft over some of the pollinators to the main variety, or you want more pollinators so you graft over some of the main variety to pollinator. You could also just want to experiment with new varieties. The same graft techniques are applied as I just showed you in the bark grafting demonstration. Each scaffold is grafted over as is the top of the tree. This is an example of a top work tree. To begin, the tree was pre-cut a week to 10 days before grafting. This is to reduce the bleeding problem and also helps in getting the heavy work out of the way. Leaving a nurse limb is very important. It enables the tree to still feed the roots and the transpiration reduces wet soil problems while the tree regrows. All the other scaffolds are bark grafted. Multiple scions are placed on each scaffold. The more scions that grow, the better. They will help heal the cut. They should be removed before they crowd out the chosen replacement branch in a couple of years. Um, in my opinion, this is the way to graft a large tree. There are people in the world that would say, oh, gee, we'll just get a chainsaw and we'll cut it off here and we'll put a whole bunch of grafts around there. But uh, that's not good, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, and I believe the University of California literature tells you that about four inches is as large as you want to get. And uh, uh, if the tree is bigger than that, you just move up higher on the tree or move out farther on the branches. Now that's a pretty time-consuming job, but uh, uh, if you were to do like some people would do, cut it off there and graft it, very likely you'd get it to rot inside and the tree would have a rotten heart and would eventually maybe break down. It's just not, not good business. This is quite expensive. If you were uh, hiring somebody to, to graft a tree like that, it probably cost $100 or $150 to do it because it's, it's slow going. On the other hand, uh, you get a full bearing tree pretty quickly if you do it that way because you've got all these branches. And you notice again we've left a nurse, nurse branch there. This is a tree that was top worked last year and it shows the care needed after grafting. We have already seen that the whole tree needs to be painted white just after grafting to reduce sun burning and each grafted scaffold needs to be supported as the new branches grow in the first year. This is done by nailing a long stake to the scaffold and tying the branch as it grows. The supporting stake can be removed after several years. This is the same tree seen in the first shot two years after top working. You can see that when done right, top working can change variety and have a large tree ready to harvest in three years. If you started from a newly planted tree, that tree would be years behind. The grafts have healed and the supporting stakes have been removed. This year in winter, we will thin out the grafted branches by leaving all but one or possibly two on the large diameter scaffolds. The first harvest, you should shake the tree with great care so as not to break the grafts.